from your favorite sleazeball. Who's your favorite sleazeball, chat? Who's your favorite one? Call, prime. Thanks for the prime, dude. Call. Jake Vosh, Lefty Dad, Bro Stream win. I don't know. Whatever. I'll do one. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dave did political content. It's not food content. He actually did a digestibly sized political comment. Oh, yeah. Motherfucking Lord of Cringe. Bonus content for y'all. Bonus content. It's your boy Dave, your favorite sleazeball. Um, Corey Bush wants the government to take care of racism. Is this the video title of this? He is not happy about racism uh, being a thing that we have to uh, address. He's not happy about it. So let's see. Let's see what Clock Guy himself has to say about racism and how we should approach it. Very carunkleness, ever. Mary carunkleness, carunkleness. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But will he say the N-word, I wonder? I don't think so. If he does, I'm going to be uh, reporting the shit out of that. So, yeah. It's claw time. Okay, chat. We haven't done one tonight, but can my mod set this up? It's only 6 minutes and 43 seconds. Will Dave Claw. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Dave does not drink a beverage like a normal human person. Normal human person? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dave has patented the move. The claw. Hand extended. Wrap it around like you're a goddamn velociraptor. And you have to you have to do this. The claw. Also bonus points if he cry if he climbs Cores Mountain. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hopefully you get to see it. Hopefully you get to see it. Will Dave Claw. Will Dave claw? I don't know. I don't know. Some of you think he's not going to claw. Some of you think he's not going to claw. There's only seven minutes of, of video here. Only seven minutes of video here to claw. I'll wait until that timer runs out. It's almost done. Uh, we're about halfway through the timer here. So uh, Dave himself is, of course, um, he is going to slurp. No, I guarantee you he makes some sort of gross like <laughs> sound, though, with his gullet. Uh, it always happens. Uh, we can't save Dave every day, but we could try. Um, again, again, for the record, I think Dave should shave his head and go full beard. I think it'd be a good look. I think it would be a good look. Yeah, this guy makes crazy noises with his body. Crazy noises with his body. He sounds like he sounds like a like a a a, a man manatee, a man itty, a manatee. You can't because you're a mod now. Mods can't. Mods can't uh, do that. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, I didn't know mods couldn't participate. Uh, is it an option to let mods participate? Because you should let mods participate if 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 it is an option um, in the future. But uh, yeah, so we'll see if he claws. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> man titty. Uh, well, I got I got little man titties. They're not they're not huge. They're not great, but you know they're there. You can grab them if you want. Anyway, Dave. Dave, I'm all in on no claw. All right, all right. Here comes Dave's take on Cory Bush wanting the government to take care of racism. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, that was low. Wait, did you hear that, though? I told you it was going to make weird body noises. Listen. Listen. Ugh. It always starts like this. Like, I think he's just wet. He's just wet on the inside. We just listen to that in, in slowness, slow speed. Ugh. Ugh. He's a very moist fella. Very moist fella. Okay. This is a video. Um, I'm going to react to Cory Bush anti racism and possible okay. with Marjorie Taylor. This man is a Lovecraftian entity. <laughs> uh, the vibrations of the inner Dave Jowls signal his desire for another malted soda beverage. 
<laughs> Green, I have no idea who Marjorie Taylor Green is, but I know who Corey Bush is. Marjorie Taylor Green is the Jewish space laser's person, lasers person, by the way. She's a great big pain in the ass. But uh, already the first line of this is bad. Okay. We cannot build an equitable anti-racist society. One, equity is a bad thing. <laughs> equity is basically equality of outcome. Mm. What? No? What? Equity is the quality of being fair and impartial. That's, it's just, what? It's, 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 what? It's just, it's just it, it, treating everybody the same. Not a quality of outcome. Nobody wants a quality of outcome. Nobody wants that. That would be a bad thing. Nobody agrees with it. I, I, I don't know one, one leftist person that's like, yep, a quality of outcome. Every single person gets exactly the same thing. Irrespective of their of their desires, you get exactly the same thing. <laughs> like what? Equality, that's a good thing. Everyone should be equal in society, but not equitable. <sighs> Two, it is not the government's job to build an anti-racist society. In fact, mm -hmm. it is illegal for the government to build anything anti-racist because we have the right as Americans to be as racist as we want. So these are different things. These are different things. Um, so as far as, as far as the government uh, uh, <laughs> being anti-racist, oh boy. Uh, okay. You have the right to free speech. That's true. And that is technically a right to expression, which technically allows for racism. I agree with that. Um, not, not I agree with you being racist. I agree that you're allowed to be racist. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for the guy who can identify what Chipotle mayo is to give his takes on politics. Well, that's what he does. So, <sighs> hi, this is the Constitution. So, uh, in the Constitution, we have we have certain things. They're called amendments. Um, obviously the Bill of Rights is a thing, whatever. So, uh, uh, you may, you may notice that, um, like the 15th Amendment. This is kind of 15th Amendment. This is, this is, this is the government endorsing not being allowed to be racist under certain circumstances. Literally is, uh, disallowing racism in a certain circumstance, Okay. I just came from the race mixing is evil video. Oh boy, I'm so sorry, Sario. I that's an old video, and sh that that woman is is absolutely the worst. Um, um, I don't know what you're talking about, Andy. Anyway, uh, so Amendment Number Fifteen of the Constitution. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude, uh, which would be, of course, slaves, uh, the Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. So you can't be racist towards people when it comes to voting. So, in this case of anti-racism, I imagine Cory Bush will be talking about uh, any, any federally funded situation or state-funded situation in which race is, uh, is, a, is a topic of conversation and and hmm in 2021 what do you think the conversation about race insofar as a federal or state funded enterprise is concerned what do you think that conversation is going to be about hmm i wonder so let's see let's see it's called the first amendment now, I know you're a Democrat, and you hate the First Amendment, but... Did I say Second Amendment earlier, by the way? I think I did. I think I said Second Amendment instead of First Amendment, now that I'm thinking about it. Did I say Second Amendment earlier? Instead of First Amendment for uh, free speech? It's obviously not what I meant. I might have. But it ain't going away. ...an equitable anti-racist society if a member of Congress endorses white supremacy. Mm-hmm. When did she endorse it? When, when did... When, wait, 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 wait. When did Marjorie Taylor Greene, a person you just said you didn't know about... 
you, you're you're asking when she endorsed white supremacy. Like what? Just look it up then. Like what? Also, do you denounce black supremacy? Probably not. What? Any form of supremacy is is denounced. Yes. Black black supremacy is not the same thing as having pride. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Cory Bush is a black nationalist. I don't. Oh God, he just sipped it hard. Ugh. I rise in defense of our nation's school children. I cannot sit idly by and allow white supremacy and hatred to uh -huh. have decision making. You also can't sit idly by and wait for Weight Watchers either. Dave, Dave, you and look it. Come on, we don't. We don't get to. We don't get to. We do not get to. We don't get to. We just. We just don't get to, guy. Um, but uh, literally, how Weight Watchers works is you. You. You do in fact wait for it to show up. So I mean, it's not even like a good joke. Uh, it's premise. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's delivered to you. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, decision making power over our students' future. Yeah. Making power over our students' futures. To my Republican colleagues, let history remember what you did in this moment. Mm -hmm. A prerequisite for appointment to these committees and for all that we do must be that you love and represent all people, meaning all people. We owe it to our children. We owe it to their parents mm -hmm. to have a house education and labor committee that is committed to fighting for a country where all children have an equitable education. In You're never going to have that. What? You're never going to have an equitable education? What are you talking about? We literally could do that. Do you want to know how you could do that? Here's how, here's how it works. Okay. Here's an equitable, an equitable way to, to deal with education, okay? Um, <clears throat> all schools need have m minimum funding and make sure that that minimum funding is determined by each state, right? So like Michigan might need less funding than like a, like a California state school because of cost of living, right? Um, whereas Minnesota might need even, even less funding than Michigan and so on. So all you do is set a minimum federal funding, right? Like a minimum wage for a school, and be like, okay, so if you are in this state and you have this many students, you get this much money per student to invest into the school every year. That's it. That's all it is. Don't don't means test on fucking like 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 uh, like test scores. Okay. Don't 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 incorporate test scores into this bullshit. Don't incorporate anything else. Incorporate literally just the number of students, and also, of course. You should provide meals for those students and the teachers throughout the day. Um, but, yeah, that's that's really that's really all it takes. So, yes, you can get equity in schools. As a former educator, that's how you would do it. Um, of course, you can't, you know, again, you have to budget based on where they're at location-wise. But, yeah. Let's just stop right there. You're never going to have equitable education. That's impossible. It's not. I just told you how it's possible. No two kids are going to come out of school the same. That's not what equitable means. Unless they are both equally stupid. No, that's just not what equitable means. There's a thousand things that factor into a child's education. And... Insmith, thanks so much for giving one to Ukamino. You spouting equity isn't one of them, okay? It has way more to do with the home life than it does with teachers or anything else we waste money on. Okay, and home life involves poverty, which we can address, involves drug use, which we can address, involves health care, involves education, which we can address, involves job security, involves UBI, if we can get that, involves, like, fucking food security. I mean, like, literally all the things that I advocate for would fix all of these things. Like, it, he's just so stupid, dude. He's just so dumb. He doesn't think about things for two seconds. And I can't blame him. He probably got one of the educations he's talking about. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> How's this dude got not gotten a better mic? Because nobody watches him. He, he probably he probably can't in, afford to invest in it. And I don't, I'm not shaming him. I literally, he probably can't afford to invest in this type of thing. You know what I mean? Because he just does Lord of Patriarchy sh- shit. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Green rocks. That's a, that's a comment on Dave's video. Yikes. And, and intentionally anti-racist society. Let me say that again. An intentionally anti-racist society. Well, you know, yeah. uh, careful with that, because usually a lot of anti-racism is just racism in a different dress. <laughs> What's racist? <laughs> what, what, explain how it's racism. Government cannot build an anti-racist society. In fact, it is forbidden from building an anti-racist society. Wrong. You're wrong. Uh, the government, in fact, can uh, instill an anti-racist society in the places where it's allowed to do so. Surprise. Um, anything that's federally funded or state funded um, is is a thing where you can uh, uh, absolutely affect anti-racist policy. So schools, absolutely. Any government jobs, uh, you can absolutely not allow white supremacists or racists into Congress. Uh, you could disallow anybody that has ties to certain factions outside of Congress. That's fine. Um, you could, you could, um, you know, set, set certain limits. You could, uh, uh, you just, you just can't affect freedom of speech in the public sphere, um, in the, in the, or I guess the private sphere, so more, more so. But um, you know, like, like you, Dave, get to be a racist. That's a thing you can do. It's something you can opt into. Um, you're not going to go to jail for being a racist unless those racist thoughts and actions turn into something that violates a law. But you can say the N-word to your heart's content. Because you just want to say it so bad, you know? It's just like, oh, I just want to fucking, fucking say it. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and do that if that's a, if that's a thing you want to do. Um, but society at large doesn't want to deal with that anymore. Like, it used to be a thing that you could do uh, with impunity. You can't really do that anymore, which is a good thing, because uh, did you know that black people have dignity and deserve it? <laughs> like, like uh, yeah, you shouldn't be able to just call people the N-words uh, in society and get away get away with it from a, from a, uh, 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 socially, uh, I guess, uh, I guess no charge on the social currency credit card, as it were. Um, it costs, it costs social currency to say these kinds of dumb things. Yeah. So that's that's really all it takes is is you disallow these sorts of things in government spaces, and you uh, yeah you could say it as much as you want though, dude. It's just like no one's gonna fucking like you, bro. Like <laughs> some people do be fiends say the dude. It's nuts. It's nuts. The guy on the Tim Pool show the other day was like, I just want to say it. I just want to say it. Let me say it. Let me say it. Like whoa, bro. Like whoa. <laughs> Calm down, dude. Whether you like it or not, the First Amendment is still there. The First Amendment doesn't protect you day to day. From the Ferguson Florissant School District in St. Louis to the Normandy, Hazelwood, Riverview Gardens, Jennings, University City School District to St. Louis Public Schools, all of our school districts deserve better. Harrisville State University, Missouri, University of Missouri, St. Louis, Arkansas. Uh, universities should be totally private. Tech and- Jesus fucking Christ. Universities should be totally private. Dude, you could you could certainly benefit from from free college. If there, if free college was a thing, you should you should certainly go and 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 get relearned a little bit. Learn learn a little bit of stuff about things, I think. We could you could stand to do that. Um Konazumi, thanks for following, dude. Uh, I really would love a link or just the name of this rep. This is Corey Bush. C O R I B U S H. Corey Bush. She's great. St. Louis University and Washington University, they deserve better because our teachers and our custodial workers, our cafeteria workers. What the fuck are you talking? The government, the federal government has nothing to do with that. It really, the federal government, what? The, wait, 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 what? The federal government literally has something to do with that. Colleges and universities and educational districts all get federal funded dollars, which means that they are under the purview of the federal government insofar as rules are considered. Did you know that if you commit a crime, like a real crime on like a public school ground, that's a federal offense? So 
this is true. Um, when I was uh, when I was in high school, I think it was my freshman year in high school. Uh, Let Varian Ambassador, thanks for following. Um, when I was in high school, we had a few kids that were seniors. Um, uh, they 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 firebombed uh, an aspect of the school. They 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 like Molotov cocktail um, part of the school as sort of like a ah fuck you school. Um, and they got tried as terrorists. It was a federal crime. No one was in. It was in the middle of the night. Not that that makes it necessarily better, but yeah. They have, they have, that's a terrorist act. You can't do that on a federal building. Uh, I think it got downgraded after, after the trial and stuff, but it started out as a, like, I mean, that's a federal fucking offense, dude. Um, yeah. It's anarchists. All of them were conservative. I know for that for a fact. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, at least at the time, I don't know if they are now, but <clears throat> did they go to prison? Um, I think they ended up um, uh, being heavily fined. And, um, cause the, I think the school didn't want to pursue certain legal repercussions. I can't remember. I, I don't think they went to prison for a super long time though. <clears throat> in, in, if someone had gotten hurt, they would have been fucked. But they destroyed like easy five figures of uh, computer equipment and um, you know obviously repairs it probably it probably was like a uh, at least a hundred thousand dollars I bet total um but yeah uh, uh yeah mailboxes are federal that's true um yeah this this shit's bad like like in in, in so as a federal employee if you are a um, this is this is why uh, Jordan Peterson's bullshit was really stupid too Bill C sixteen. Um, Jordan Peterson was not personally compelled outside of the University of Toronto uh, to uh, use prone, pr- correct pronouns for people, right? He wasn't, he wasn't compelled to. As an employee of the University of Toronto, he was because they received federal dollars and Bill C-16 is a federal protection uh, uh, set in place so that the government isn't uh, discriminating from anybody. This is the same exact shit. This is the same shit. If you receive federal dollars... And you are an educational facility, you absolutely fall under the purview of the Constitution. A hundred percent true. Uh, not that not that Dave would know this. That's okay. You're like they're private universities. Uh, uh, well, uh, they take federal dollars. So that's state and local government. State. If you're under state government, you are under the purview of the <gasps> Constitution. If you are funded by the state. It's federal. It's it's it, it's got the federal purview. You can own so again. I don't know. I don't know why people don't understand this. The states are in fact agents of the federal government. They cannot lessen a law or uh, or or constitutional law or whatever that the federal government has. Federal governments are the baseline standard of all laws. States can only increase the protections uh, under those laws. They cannot diminish them. So you could, if you were a state, um, say uh, uh, the 15th Amendment, let's just say whenever it came out, 15th Amendment, uh, you cannot um, um, keep someone from from voting if they are black or formerly a slave. Um, You could also, as a state, tack on anybody else to that you can increase the protections but you can't decrease it you can't say well if you were black you can't be if if they're just black you can't you can't tell them that they can't vote but if they were a slave you can deny them a vote no 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 you're a state you're under the purview of the constitution and thusly if you are state funded you are considered under the purview of federal law this is a fact um Ah, real monster. Thanks so much uh, for an educational facility. Some sometimes it's a little bit different. Like a farm that gets a federal subsidy is not the case, um, but they're not federal employees. They're subsidized by the federal government. It's different. Um, it was really weird to start high school before nine eleven and watch the outlook on punishing violent school pranks from aw shucks to oh you're fucked immediately afterwards though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I went through that too. I was in middle school when 9-11 happened, but I was in uh, high school when that one thing happened. It was a terrorist. Yeah. They, uh, they took that real seriously. That's why the feds raid dispensaries in states where the weed is legal. Yep. Yep. 
Jesus Christ! All you have to do is fucking understand things, Dave. It's really easy to understand stuff. Better because our students who don't have a roof to sleep under at night are students. That's not a claw. That's just l drinking out of glass normal. Who don't have running water at home are students who don't have enough to eat deserves better. Yeah. That sounds like a student's parents' problem. It is not the government's job to make sure those students have a roof. It is not those those the government's job to make sure those students have running water. It is not the government's job to make sure they have enough to eat. By the way, food stamps more than provides enough for everyone to eat. No, they don't. Uh, if you make just over the poverty line, you are not able to get uh, SNAP benefits, food stamps, as they were. Um, you are not able to get that. But if you live just over the poverty line, you probably, because you are cut from all the other uh, things that mitigate your costs, um, and by the way, this is like $30,000. It's not a lot of money. Um, you uh, lose all those benefits, and then you have to make up for them in your own money, which means that technically you're even poorer than you were when you had those benefits from a from a financial burden standpoint. Um, so a lot of kids, uh, as an educator, again, not a current one, a former one, and in pursuit of it, um, uh, I taught in classes for, for, for a little bit of time. And uh, one of the big problems you see right away, and especially when you're learning how to teach, uh, one of the big things that you learn is that, um, uh, and, and this is pretty popular knowledge at this point, um, lack of nutrition severely affects uh, children learning because they are growing people. Um, now, adults can, can, can usually function being a little hangry, right? Like if you skipped lunch, uh, you, can, you can get through a meeting, you know what I mean? But not when you're growing. When you're growing and you're a child, this is a very drastic effect on your brain chemistry. Uh, Ghost Snow, thanks for following. Um, it's really hard uh, for children who are already going through incredible hormonal changes and growth uh, to also have to deal with, the, with, with hunger um, and not having enough energy for their, for their, you know, their fucking brain to work. Uh, I had a really good friend who lived on food stamps in California. Food stamps could not buy you hot food either, so he had to cook his own food but did not have an oven, so he had to come to our house to cook. Fuck you, Dave. You just hate poor people. Exactly. Um, you can't buy hot prepared food with food stamps. Uh, now, you, now you can buy McDonald's and shit like that, but that's because they lobbied the government to take SNAP money, um, which is unethical. Um... Now I, I I'm fine with the, them using snap money like if you have it on on anything I don't really care it's just the the way that that is worked in it doesn't allow all hot food it allows the the companies that have paid the government certain amounts of money to get that business is is who gets it you know what I mean it's unethical uh, Eros World thanks so much for the follow um, I was over I was one hundred dollars over the limit to get food stamps when we really needed them one hundred dollars it's so insane exactly um, yeah. Um, qualify for nineteen dollars a month of food stamps. Oh, good! So you can buy ramen, pretty much. Yeah, that ain't shit. Uh, food stamps are shit. Food stamps are not good. Um, really, what it should be is uh is uh I really don't like. What do you think? At least fifty dollars per week. Per individual in your household, if you make seventy five thousand dollars or less, that's what I would start at. F Fifty dollars per person per week minimum, and that just depends on where you live. That's where I live. You might live someplace where that's even more expensive. Then I'm I'm down. Like, but that's my federal minimum. Increase it, states. We'll do it. But like, that's on top of UBI and all that other shit. Like, like that's. I don't, I don't understand how you can – and even $50 for a week? That's less than 10 bucks a day, guys, per person. That's the minimum we should be able to do. That's uh, – but that's communism. Yeah, true. True. It is the parent's job to make sure the roof is intact. The roof. It's the parents' job to make sure there's running water and food in the fridge. Okay, but so how so how does a child bootstraps himself out of this? Like, at what point does their personal responsibility come in? Really, right? Like, we should blame the children. I think. 
fucking idiot. It is not the government's job. Point blank, period. Because those living with student debt. That's really stupid. That's really, really stupid. Those who desire to go to college deserve better. Our parents. Um, look, I'm fine with reforming what? student debt as long as the colleges are willing to get rid of, like, jazz studies. Wait, why jazz studies? Wait, what? what? And all the other programs that, while the knowledge might be useful, what? or... F Sorry, you can't see. ...fun to get, it's not going to lead into anything. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what? <laughs> not a B-movie fan, I see. Um, so, so arts and stuff are, are super viable uh, paths that you can take. I don't know what the... It, 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 like pretending that we don't need the arts is like really weird considering considering uh the backdrop here considering all of this we don't need arts i my room is filled with with fiction books and hentai like what what are you talking about bro <laughs> like you you're 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 <laughs> social jazz to <-tis> warriors <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. So you don't like video games, you don't like you don't like which need music. You don't like uh music in general? Like I don't understand. Like even even so, like I mean just from a purely capitalist perspective cuz I'm assuming he's like if you get a degree in music theory or something, you're going to be you're going to be like unsuccessful under capitalism. It doesn't offer anything. What do you think most people with music degrees go into? Usually, well, I don't want to say most, but a lot of people that get a job in the field. How about that? Most of the people that get jobs in the field of music are working on either teaching the music, right? Or using it to further, like, like corporate advertisement or the ambiance of a corporate product, like a, like a film, right? And then s others still make music in general for general consumption, which is a capitalistic endeavor. I, I, I don't understand. They work in the music industry. What do you think the fucking music industry does? It sells shit to you. It sells shit to you. It's literally focused on capitalism. Like, I, I, I don't even know. Like, these people go into advertisement. People that get art degrees, you're like, art, totally pointless. They, they, they go into the corporate world and they sell art. Most, most, most artists aren't just like... You know that that have a degree in that, and that, that that get a job in the field aren't just freelance artists. They might also do freelance, but a lot of them are are are, are working on like you know animation, and they're working on storyboarding, and they're working on they're working on concepting, and they're working on just just advertisement. They're working on website website design and, and, and graphic design. They're working on agri or uh, architecture, not agriculture. They're working on they're working on interior design. I mean, these people they work on how to how to how to make a book. Uh, uh, like a textbook for a school, more readable. Like, there's so many applications to these things. It's wild to me that you can't think further than makes toot toot with a jazz horn. Oh, you go to you go to the jazz school. You're just making the toot toots. <laughs> like what? Have have like a brain, just a brain. Use the brain, Dave. Use the brain a little bit. What are some capitalist endeavors I could do with my toot toot degree? Oh, fucking myriads, myriads of things. <laughs> uh, no, we don't do we don't do Patreon links on the in the chat. It, it would be too much. I can't start that precedent. Um, but you can like do stuff like that on the on on Twitter. Um, what does Dave have against Carl Malone and John Stockton? Oh man, uh, are you calling them artists? Because of the pick and roll? Anyway. Um, yeah, I appreciate the ask. It'll probably pick it up as spam anyway. They deserve better. We cannot build an equitable anti-racist education system if a seated House Education and Labor Committee member incites violence through the perpetuation of racist lies. I agree. Why is he slurping so much? In an attempt to overturn an election. Um... What what does he what what could he possibly have against this? They oh they were for the Utah Jazz that's true. I remember Carl Malone being a member of the Los Angeles Lakers and getting spanked by my Detroit Pistons. 
Ah! It's true. They really did. We won the championship. Just <laughs> uh, Insmith, thanks for giving one to Aleta Tenera. Appreciate that. Disagreeing with the election outcome and saying there might be some shady shit about it is not racist. It's it's just not. Mar- he, I, I, again, he doesn't understand who Marjorie Taylor Greene is, so he's ta- having a bad take. That Lakers team was not injured. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> it's just not. We cannot build an equitable and Got beat five to one, bro, or four to one. Five games. Get fucking shit on. When did she do that? What? She's Marjorie Taylor Greene. You can't just say you don't know who the fucking subject of it is and then go, no, she didn't do that. It didn't happen. Fuck off, dude. It literally was her. What do you do? Marjorie Taylor Greene is the worst person to defend. What? We need to strip them of their committee assignments, and then we must pass my resolution, HRS 25, to investigate and expel them. Thank you. Ooh, there was a little swag at the end there. Did you, did you hear that? The the voice change. HJ25. Like, I like that. That's good shit. You and I, you- oh, expel them for having opinions you don't like. Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks Jewish people shot space lasers to start forest fires. I think we can get a better representative. Pick a Republican. Just not one that believes in Jewish space lasers and thinks that QAnon was real and is an actual racist, bro. Pick somebody else. I don't care if they're a conservative. I don't care. Go for it. But you can you can send your best. You can send your best. My goodness. <laughs> Sometimes opinions aren't valid, including, but not limited to, Jewish space lasers starting forest fires. That is one opinion you don't get to keep. What a dumb dumb. What a dumb dumb, Dave. Holy cannoli. <laughs> 